What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. It is, well, I don't know what time it is. It's like 10 something, almost 11, but I decided to head to the Goodwill outlet. You can see it in the background there. I decided to head in here before I go to the store just to pick up scraps is what I call it. Um, whenever I'm not planning for like staying for two hours and I'm just going to look through stuff that everyone else has already looked through and pick up the scraps, which usually results in a few cables, usually some plushies and some toys for the dollar bin and stuff like that. So I'm not expecting to find anything too crazy, but I would really love if I could fill up our $3 plush bin at the store before we open because it's always been so popular. And now that we are carrying all the officially licensed brand new plushies, there's of course a price difference there. And I think that it would be nice to still have a variety of plushies in that $3 bin for the people who don't want to spend 15, 20 or up for a plush. So the dollar bin's getting pretty full, but the plush bin is not. So that's kind of my plan. Um, once again, I'm, I'm probably not gonna film inside, but of course I'll show you guys what I get after we leave. So let's go in, see if we can find something. What you are seeing right here is not footage that I took today. This is footage from a vlog that I actually uploaded in January of earlier this year. And uh, I don't really feel like filming in the outlet right now. So I figured the next best thing for all the new people who are watching my videos is to give you guys some older footage that you probably haven't seen, just so you can get at least an idea of what the Goodwill outlet is like. Everything is in these gigantic blue tub table things. Um, you can see them in the background there, and it's just a free-for-all, basically. And you pay for things by weight. Certain types of items have different prices. Some things are priced individually. Um, DVDs, books, those have individual prices. They are, like, you know, movies. DVDs and Blu-rays are, I think, $2.29 a piece. Books, if they are children's books or magazines, are either 29 or 39 cents. Uh, soft cover books are $1.29, card cover books are $2.29, something like that. I can't remember exactly. Electronics are 69 cents a pound, and regular goods are, I think, $2.29 a pound, unless you get um, 25 pounds or more, and then it drops to like $1.89 a pound or something like that. They've changed the prices a couple times since I started going, so I don't know exactly what it is, but it's pretty cheap overall. So I'm going to let the rest of this footage here play out. This is about a five minute clip and it's obviously sped up as you guys can see. But uh, like I said, this is from January and I did pick up in this clip uh, a Disney Infinity figure, a couple video game cables, and a bunch of VHS and some other stuff here and there. So. Enjoy, and then after this clip, I'll show you guys what I got today.
right guys so just leaving the outlet right now i was here for a little bit longer than i expected because they were just doing rotations the whole time so i got an xbox 360 connect got a little ipod with a broken screen ps2 memory card xbox breakaway cable and then just a bunch of random cables and some electronics got a 120 gig xbox hard drive got this which is a full sony car disc man kit it's got like the little tape adapter and all the cables and everything i got this black and decker snake light which is about 20 bucks on ebay but it's it was by electronics price which is only 69 cents per pound so it didn't cost anything got a bunch of stuff for the dollar bin nothing too special but there are some cool looking figures and some of them say bethesda not quite sure what they all are that's obviously fallout pokemon the harley quinn that guy from guardians of the galaxy and then i got what appears to be like some sort of giant fallout droid but it's all in pieces and i think i got all the pieces but i'm not sure i'm gonna have to put that together once we get to the store got this book for abby how's moving castle one game and then three dvds and one blu-ray all sealed these are about eight to ten a piece on ebay but media mail shipping is so cheap this one's about 15 and i honestly just thought i might just put them in the store for like five bucks a piece this is probably my coolest find <laughs> this is not vintage it's disney made in sri lanka doesn't have a date on it, but, I mean, Disney didn't own Star Wars until kind of recently. Care Bear plush for the $3 bin, some micro cassettes. A couple empty video game cases. Another Care Bear. And then I got a bunch of VHS, mostly Scooby-Doo, but there's some cool ones. And a little Powerpuff Girls plush thing more dollar toys a couple little my hero academia things that are going to go in the dollar bin a couple little pikachus and other than that it's just more vhs um, the only horror movie i got was psycho 2 most of them are scooby-doo honestly so i'm gonna head back to the store right now and i should be getting there right as ryan gets there as well there's my express, guys. I own that place. Ryan's working on packaging up some strategy guides here. Yep. And we got one little trade in. We have, and I know I've said we're not taking stuff, um, but this is one of our local guys, and he just wanted an Xbox 360 hard drive. So the one that I picked up this morning at the outlet um, traded, and we have Dragon Ball Fighter Z or fighters, whatever, and Grand Theft Auto 5. The Grand Theft Auto 5, we're taking a chance on because it's got a top scratch. You can see it right on her arm there. But if you look at the bottom of the disc, that top scratch is inside the inner ring of the disc. So I don't think it's where any of the data is. So Ryan's gonna test that one at some point um, just to be safe. Um, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be okay. So, also, I got this from the outlet this morning. I didn't show it because it was just buried with all the VHS. But I'm hoping that some of you guys can help me out with identifying this. Because I'm not really sure what it is. So, it's the Tower of Juaga hint book. But on the back, it's got PlayStation 1 Namco Museum stuff. So... It looks about the size of one of those like little PS1 inserts that you get with certain games, but I'm not sure what it's for. There is no Druaga game for PS1. There's a PS2 uh, Nightmare of Druaga, but I don't think this is it. So there's no information on the inside about like what's what it's for or anything. 
my thought was that maybe it was for like a PC game or something, but it just seems weird that there's there's PlayStation advertisements on the back. So I'm not sure. If you guys know what this is, please let me know. Um, I can't find it on eBay, so maybe it's worthless. Maybe it has some value. I'm not sure. If you guys have any info on this, please let me know. Ryan is currently stickering the VHS. Yeah. They're not going on the website, but we have to have them in the system. So they're all just getting priced as just bulk VHS. They're just $2.99 a piece. A couple people have expressed interest in some of these, and they're not going to be on the website. But if you're interested in any, just shoot us a message to the Double Jump Facebook or Instagram, or shoot us an email, just doublejumpvideogames at yahoo.com. We can just do the deal through there if you'd like. Um, so you're going to notice some new categories on the website today. Uh, one of them is going to be DVDs. The Disney ones that I got earlier, like I said, they're selling on eBay for like 8 to 10 uh, new, which these are. I posted them on the website for 5 bucks a piece. So if you're interested, those are there. These Mario ones are also there because they are not the bulk price. Um, our bulk price for DVDs is 99 cents. The Mario ones I have priced at 2.99, so those are put into the system individually. If you notice, the tag says Super Mario Brothers. It's got like a full, it just cuts it off, but it's got a longer title than that. These ones though, just say bulk DVD. So all the bulk ones are 99 cents, and those are not gonna go on the website. Anything that's put into the system individually, like these, those will go onto the website. For Blu-rays, our bulk price is going to be $2.99. As you can see, it just says bulk Blu-ray. Any Blu-rays that are more than $2.99 will go on the website. So there's that. Any VHS that end up being more than $2.99 will also go on the website. We just don't have any right now. I think for VHS, the only ones we're probably going to get that are going to be more than $2.99 will be like the video game ones, like the N64 promotional tapes or anything like that. You might also notice another category on the website called electronics. Currently, we just have a new set of the little Apple iPod earbuds and then the iPod Touch that I found today. I thought that this had a cracked screen, but look at it. It was just a really bad screen protector. <laughs> so it actually still had a charge on it, which is crazy. So it works. We've got a brand new pair of generic earbuds with it and also a charger and uh, we got it tested and everything, and if it had a bad battery, I don't think there's any way it would still have a charge after being at the outlet. So that is good to go. And then also, the only plush left of that lot is Luigi. The Mario, Bowser, Yoshi, and Diddy Kong all sold, which is crazy. The Luigi one was the most expensive. He seems to be the hardest one to find. So I guess that's why he's the only one left over. But uh, yeah, so... There are a few new categories on the website today, so if you're interested in any of that stuff, feel free to check it out. We will, of course, be continuing to add more stuff as we come across it. The electronics that we're going to carry are pretty much just going to be MP3 players, um, old Sony Walkmans, Discmans, maybe like vintage calculators or headphones or something like that. So, not too much, but a little bit. Check this out, guys. This is the figure that I got at the outlet earlier. And I have figured out that this is from Fallout 4, and the character is called Liberty Prime. He's, like, throwing bombs like it's a football or something. Uh, so this, I believe, is the, like, build-a-robot kit kind of thing, where you get each different piece separately. There was a base that I thought went with this, but it actually doesn't. I couldn't figure out how to make it stand on the base and then after looking it up it never came with that base so i think that it's complete he looks like he maybe holds something else but this bomb doesn't appear to come out of his hand so i'm not sure but uh what was unfortunate about this is that a couple pieces were broken and had to be super glued primarily well mainly just his two legs um one of the legs was broken at that joint right there, you can kind of see some of the super glue. The other one was broken like on the inside part. So you're supposed to be able to take them apart, but uh, yeah, 
that leg is not coming out. That leg is, is glued in there now because it was broken just on the very edge. But there he is. He's complete. And uh, it looks like they're not too cheap either, which is kind of cool. Looking at sold eBay listings, because uh, there's none posted right now, um, I saw a set. It had all the boxes for the pieces, but that set sold for like 60 bucks before shipping, which is pretty cool. Because this one was broken and I had to I had to glue it and stuff, and there's no boxes, obviously. I don't think it's worth anywhere near that amount, but I should still be able to post them maybe for like $39.99 or something like that, maybe $35, and hopefully someone thinks it's cool. So with that, guys, I think it's about time for me to be heading home. It's about 10 p.m., so another long day. But we got a lot of stuff done, which I'm very happy about. Um... Actually, these three Mario DVDs that I showed you earlier have already sold. Um, but we got the, the DVDs in. We got the VHS stuff done. Those are all stickered. I created listings for the, all the stuff that we don't track quantity on. And those items are not on the website, like I said. So the dollar toys, the $3 plushies, um, what, like these little Pokemon figures. I got listings for those created, so what I need to do is print out one tag for each one because it doesn't track inventory, so there aren't multiple tags. There's just one listing. But I need to print out those tags and get them all onto one sheet of paper and get it laminated so that we can keep it up by the register. And that'll be really nice and helpful. Uh, if people, you know, if someone brings up $10 toys, we just scan the thing 10 times or whatever. So it'll be nice to have that done. I'll probably do that tomorrow, um, assuming FedEx office is open. I also finished getting the rest of the candy and stuff into the system. The regular candy, like the Reese's peanut butter cups and stuff like that, that is the same as the dollar toys. The inventory is not tracked. It just, we just have one barcode for them or we can scan the, the barcode of the candy these things though all of the little video game related candy things are are in and they're on the website so if you guys are interested in any of those they are available i'm trying to think if there was anything else that we got done um i don't think so i think that's pretty much it so doesn't look like we got a lot of stuff done today but we did and of course i have that tub right there full of packages again I just dropped it off this morning. After I left the outlet, I stopped at the post office before coming here and had that whole thing full, which I dropped off. Now it's full again, so I need to drop it off again. Um, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, today was really good for sales as well. Not like yesterday, of course, but it was still pretty good. And uh, tomorrow, I might, honestly, I might go to the outlet again. I know that I said that I'm not trying to buy stuff, and I'm really not. And, like, my trip to the outlet yesterday was only $60. My trip today was only $65. It's not like I'm spending a ton of money. Um, I do have a few people who have said, who, or who, who are wanting to trade stuff in or sell stuff, and I've told them that we're not taking stuff in until we reopen, but... That's only in seven days. So hopefully no one gets angry at me for going to the outlet. Um, my main goal with going is obviously to find some cool stuff, but there are a few sections in the store that I want to beef up before we open. The $3 plushies is the main one. And I talked about it earlier, but I really want to get that done. I wouldn't mind having some more VHS as well. Not a ton, but at least enough to fill that little gap right there just so that it's nice and full. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, so I might go again tomorrow. Haven't really decided yet. It's just kind of one of those things, like, if I wake up early enough, then I'll go. But I'm not going to set an alarm to go. I did the same thing this morning. I told myself last night, I'm not going to set an alarm to wake up. I'm not going for the opening. But if I happen to wake up early and I have some time, then I'll go. And that's what I did. So I might do that again tomorrow. Um... And what else? Tomorrow, I should be getting the rest of the manuals done that we got on our trip. So I have the NES manuals right here. 
I have the N64 ones right here, and then I have the Game Boy ones right there, or the, the Game Boy Advance ones, I should say. So hopefully those will be getting done tomorrow as well, and then I need to finish the rest of the system boxes and Pat's books, and I'm pretty sure that's about it. Other than, obviously, the rest of this new inventory. <laughs> but uh, that should be it for all the stuff that's, like, out here and available for sale. Uh, the candy, I really didn't want to do that. I was dreading it because there's just so many. But luckily, I figured out a way to do it kind of easy. So that's done. I guess I need to do these bags as well. Like, all the little carrying cases for systems and stuff. Um that's not going to be a big deal, though. Other than that, I think we're pretty much good. I would like to make an order with Hyperkin before we open, if possible. I don't know if it would even get here in time. But we're good on, like, GameCube controllers, like the third-party ones over here. But we're not good on some other stuff. Uh, we could definitely use more N64 controllers. We could use more PS2 controllers. We have a few up here these ones but i wouldn't mind getting some more um we're definitely good on wii controllers we have so many so i don't know um there's still obviously a few things to take care of the receipt printer is all done the credit card terminal i am calling on monday and getting that set up uh, i got the i talked to to the people i got the phone number that i need to call to do it if they're open tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. I just have a feeling that I'm going to call tomorrow and they're not going to they're not going to answer because it's going to be Sunday. So we'll see. Um, it should be done Monday at the very, very latest. So sorry for rambling, guys. I'll go ahead and cut it off right here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you again tomorrow.